and welcome everyone to Tights TV. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a tool show into one, so please stay, stay around. Uh, going to look at Bristol Rovers and Portsmouth games, so it's like a two-in-one. You're getting uh, a double double bubble on this one. Uh, I've got Andy and Ryan, so Andy and Ryan, thanks for joining me. I appreciate Hi. it. Uh, Andy, just come to you first. I mean, nil-nil. Yeah. Uh, Juve's penalty with Devante call. Um Again, it won't one of the best um, games, you know. But it's a it's a draw, it's a clean sheet. Come away. I mean, what she's kind of taking it. I've I've been spoiled in previous weeks um, against the hard Bristol Rovers, awkward Bristol Rovers side with Joey Barton. Yeah, I think we probably have uh, been a bit spoiled. Um, not a great deal to say really about game. Yeah, it will just uh, a little bit to a. Like a stalemate yesterday, um, scrappy game. Um, but end of the day, um, nil nil. Um, good point away. Um, they made it hard. Yeah, we should, probably should have done better when we had chances. But uh, you know, we, you, you can't play at top of your game all the time. Um, and yeah, they they made it hard. They, you know. Um, a Joey Barton side is always going to be uh, difficult to play against. Yes, yeah. uh, I, I thought they were set up all right as well. They made it uh, difficult for us. Um, but yeah, um, point away from home, I, I think it's always a good uh, a good thing. Um, like I said, not really much to say about it. I thought it was well, not the best game uh, that we'll ever see. But yeah, uh, we've probably just been a bit spoiled. I think it. Uh, last couple of games um, but yeah we, we, we just move on now tech point and uh, take it from there really tech point and move on uh, just going to yeah. open Ryan I mean to be fair we didn't first half well I think by both uh, both sides were a bit scrappy a bit chest matey kind of thing you know what I mean there weren't much in it uh, Herbie Kane I thought I'd want probably the best chance Uh I think it says a lot when their goalkeeper got man at match award yeah. again because I thought he pulled off some saves and a Juvis penalty with Devante Cole. When I first saw it, I thought, is it an it? I watched it, <coughs> it looks like it. It's one of them where you've seen and gave for less. And like I said, I'm not going to get on about blame referee for stuff like that. But again, it just goes to show that we were still attacking, even when five minute ball went up, we were still attacking and we we're still trying to push for it. Uh, yeah. So for me, I don't think we could have done all any. I, I might be wrong in this. I don't think we could have done all any more rather than trying to offer a threat. I were a bit, I were a bit miffed with John uh, Russell in first half. Uh, I, I could see booking coming. He was like getting ball away too early and stuff like yeah. that. You could see it was building up for frustration. What we are taking it, Ryan? Yeah, I think it were a, it were a, it were a tough watch, wasn't it? I mean, I think. I think we were a better team overall. We we played we certainly played better football. We certainly created the more goal scoring opportunities. Um but they, they, they made it difficult from the start. I know what you're saying about John John Russell. I said exactly the same. I thought he was gonna come off at half time, to be fair. Mm. I, I don't yeah. think he's he's a I don't think that he's that that, that we've bought a, a duff player at, at all. I just think he's he's not he's not up to match fitness speed, that's all. And yeah. some of the time when he, he gets himself into good positions, he does he does look good at ball, looks confident at ball. But he made he, he did make a few mistakes, didn't he? And like you say, you could see that yellow card coming. I thought he was going to. I thought to be fair, because he did a foul before that he probably deserved it for. <laughs> um, and I thought there were a red card coming through the game somewhere because we were, you know, Anderson got that yellow, mm. and uh, and then he's he's committed a couple more fouls after that. And I thought you, <laughs> you, you know, mm. you, you take it. You've been risky there, man's a little bit, but um, yeah. It it weren't his best performance. I think I think we played long ball a little bit too much yesterday for me, and I don't know if that were down to missing Luca because we really missed Luca yesterday. Yeah, he, his energy in defence and his energy <clears throat> picking that ball up and turning it round and, and trying to do something with it, we, we we missed that yesterday. And for me, I thought Luke Thomas maybe could have come on at half time because when he came on, he did make a difference. But it might again this that might be down to his fitness. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors, so that might be down mm. to his overall match fitness and they don't want to risk him. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's a clean sheet. We've got a point away. 
Bolton, Wickham, and Derby all drew. No damage done, you know. Mm. And, and move on and move on to the next game. We can't let's see. You can't you can't win them all. We were trying to win it. We didn't sit back and just try and take the point. We were trying to win it all the way up to end the game. Yeah, you know, just just one of them days, I think. Yeah, yeah, just one of them days. We move on. And we, obviously, we're moving on to Portsmouth game coming up midweek game. Before we get on to the Portsmouth game, I don't know about your guys. Obviously, seen ticket renewals have come out and that, so I get your thoughts about that. I mean, come to you one day. I mean, mm. seen ticket renewals have come round. There's been a slight increase. I think we kind of expected an increase going up. Uh, I think we've held price for about several seasons like now. I mean, they've offered the three month option, the ten month option, and stuff like that. Are you pretty pretty pleased with the, the season tickets? Are they trying to make it? For a few different options out there, Andy. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I expected a price increase anyway. I mean, it, it, it's just like all else in it. Uh, we cost of living, clubs got to cover their costs. Um, and yeah, I, I did try to renew mine actually coming onto onto this because I normally do the one week ten months, but for some reason it didn't allow me to do it for ten months. So. I'm a little bit in limbo with mine at the minute. I just I can't choose a ten month one, so I ain't got a clue what's happening there. I think um, we're still rolling it out. I think there's like because it only got announced on Friday, I believe. I think we're still oh, right. things in process, so there's going to be options there. So I think there's like different dates when they will come in, but you still be able to right. do it for the early bird kind of thing. So yeah, there, right. then it's going to be an option there. But it's just being open, Joe. Yeah, all oh, right. That, that's that then. Because uh, yeah, I got stuck. Uh, at a point where I, I just couldn't alter it and uh, I was panicking a bit because I got confirmation that uh, it went through but I couldn't get to pay for it. So, yeah, I'll have to just keep an eye out on that then. Um, mm. But, yeah, overall, uh, happy week. Like I said, if I want, I wouldn't have tried to uh, renew it the other day. Um, but, yeah, always expecting uh, a bit of a price increase. Like I said, expected um, we. You know, uh, <clears throat> um, go with cost of living. Um, so yeah, I'm glad they've rolled it out uh, this early. Uh, to be honest, mm. because uh, especially with me, we like working part time. You know, where you know I do need uh, more notice, the better. Uh, so for me personally, I, I think that will good, and uh, I'm hoping I can get this sorted uh, by end of next week. Yeah, cool. Ryan, I mean, like I said, just a bit seeing ticket prices there, but I think it's still one of the cheapest places to watch football in League One, if, if possibly some uh, championship as well, when you look at prices compared to Peterborough and that. So, I mean, I think it worked out on average, it's about an extra £25 to £30. It's gone up over a year kind of thing. So, I mean, yeah. when you average it out, is it, you know, what well, you're kind of expecting it? Yeah, you know, I mean, clubs been really good to us all in season ticket prices for 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 so many seasons. So mm. you know, we've taken advantage of that over the years. And I think if you just look at price of your, your gas and electric bill, that this is we are all the stuff that runs it background. Your gas and electric bill at home, how mm. much that must be for for the club? You know, with, with the prices that have gone up astronomical. So you, you you kind of you kind of understand it, and it's not it's not gone up by that much. And I still think it's a, a great deal. The club are really good. With because obviously I, I take my I take my lad with me and my brother takes his, uh, his son my nephew and the, the offer that they have with the kids season ticket prices if you're buying it with a buying it with an added yeah. one so when you when you look over the price of those for two season tickets all, all together it's a bargain really it really is even even with that 20, additional 25, 30 quid like you said Neil it's um yeah. it's still good and I'll be paying it and that's it really <laughs> not yeah yeah it, yeah, not yeah. Give you Same, season, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, same. Yeah, I think what what's uh, benefited is like what Andy touched on as well a bit earlier is that it's come out pretty early, so we all know what it is. We all come, you know, yeah. whether it's going to be Championship or League One, we're going to be in. That's it. It's not going to be, you know, probably a month down line. It's like, oh, we're waiting to see if it's going to be champion. We know where we are as fans. Get, uh, you know, gives as fans a uh, chance and an opportunity to get us uh, renew and all being well. Getting new people on board as well, uh, okay, seeing yeah. the direction that we're going. So, good shout by Club that. And I will put links up in the uh, description as well, clickable links, so you can take your view. I think one of them at Andy as well. I think it's a, it's like a, a link will to take you through like any unanswered questions. So, probably yeah. if you click on that, that might take you through there as well, mate. 
Uh, so yeah, coming on to Portsmouth game. I mean, it's under lights. Are we going to get a lot of fans from Portsmouth? For, you know, we're going to get some travelling, but it's an, it's a long trip for them in it midweek. Yeah. Um, Andy, I mean, why do you see this squint? Can we get back to winning ways under lights? And you know, is it going to be red scarves? And can we get back bouncing atmosphere again by home fans? Because there is a live band on and all, isn't there? So yeah. I'm hoping so. I hope we can uh, generate that atmosphere. Um, it's going to be a totally different uh, test to what it was uh, yesterday against Bristol, though, uh, without a doubt. Um, yeah, just a shame it's really uh, Portsmouth in midweek because uh, I think they'd have uh, brought quite a bit as well, like they did uh, when they played Wednesdays at Hillsborough. Um, you know, if it were like in, uh, uh, sorry, on a weekend, I think they might have uh, fetched quite a bit. I'm not expecting them fetching a huge amount Tuesday. I think that, I think there will be quite a few there from their side, so that will, you know, generate a bit of atmosphere. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it and yeah, uh, looking for I would say like a little bit of reaction from Bristol game. I don't want that to come off a um, like a little bit negative, but just to get back to as uh, free flowing football that we've been seeing, um, and I think we will because uh, Portsmouth's uh, a decent uh, football side as well. So yeah, it should be a good, and I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, Ryan. I mean, Portsmouth, like what Andy was saying <laughs> on VS, it's a shame it's not on a weekend because like we did bring a yeah. right following up uh, when we came to South. Uh, as other South Yorkshire neighbours, um, midweek again, it's a bit same for us as well. If we've been going down there for midweek, um, yeah. you're going to get a following, but it, it won't depend on that. So it's a fair respect to Portsmouth fans that will travel up in midweek, uh, to work well. Uh, I mean, what's your take on game? Are we going to, would you be seeing any changes? I don't know. We look at Connell, would you be, or would you be, if possible, resting? Russell and fetching Thomas back into the fray is the, you know, atmosphere and that. Yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Um, well, hopefully Luca's back. I don't know what the reason he went out of the game for. I don't know if anything's been reported on why I missed it yesterday. No, no it's not. So, and, and Tuesday's a bit of a short turnaround if it's an injury, in it? So, he could well be out again. Um, as far as changes go, ideally, if he's fit enough, put Thomas in there, but you know, Luca plays that more, that's more CDM role, doesn't he? That sort of defensive midfielder role. Um, and if he's always going to play that, then I think that's why, I think that's why um, Michael Duff put John Russell in there yesterday. So yeah. it, it'll be interesting to see what he does um, mm. on Tuesday. I, I think we'll have, I think we'll see a much better game Tuesday because Portsmouth are a, a better foot. I don't want to say anything derogatory about Bristol, but they're a better footballing team. And I said yesterday when we were watching games, we we play for football against better teams. We play better football against teams yeah. that play good football. This mm. scrappy, you know, making it difficult sort of games. It it it, it takes us out of his uh, his own rhythm, and we can't seem to we can't seem to play as good a football as we do when we're playing against a decent side. And Portsmouth are a good side. I thought it was a good game um, down at Fratton Park. I thought we performed well. We probably should have got the win. Really, I think we got mm. down there by referee with that terrible decision. Mm. Um, so we'll see. I mean, they're on a good run with that new manager. You know, they've won four out of the last five, haven't they, Portsmouth? So yeah. won again yesterday. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see. But I'm, I'm hoping for a for a for a for a better game. I would say a better performance because I think like yeah. I said, we blunted the performance more than more than has been. You know, more than has not turning up yesterday. So I think three points would be ideal, though, wouldn't it? I mean, it's going to be difficult, but against mm. a team in form, but. I think we need, if we really want to make that push um, towards towards second place, because Plymouth actually won yesterday, didn't they? So it's now 11 points, that gap. So it's getting a bit more, that gap's mm. getting a bit more daunting now, isn't it? and a bit more unrealistic. But I think we definitely need three points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we always said, didn't we, going into March, it's going to be a, a tricky month, midweek weekend, midweek weekend, and, you know, different uh, teams. And I get where you're coming from with that. And like Andy Watt touched on it earlier, it's like, a better game is in get better performance because it's the game, it's the teams we're up against. Whereas, no respect to Bristol Rovers, but very destructive kind of refs here, kind of 
you know, stop starty kind of game, whereas a, a Portsmouth game, you know, it's like a more a, a free flowing game where referees yeah. get involved. And when we played uh, Derby as well, referee, you can you can accept that referee to like get understand the game. Some art tackles going like the kitchen and that, but it lets the game flow, not mm. whistle blowing all the time, disrupting. And it, like you say, it throws out a stride. Um, and again, there's a live band on Civic Green at, at all well, so it's game back fan engagement, but you know, all being well. We can see them uh, flags up in stands as well to to get out well. But uh, it was for me. Yeah. I'm wanting it to be like that. Run crested a wave. <laughs> Let's try and use that momentum kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be difficult midweek. It's going to be hard to call how it's going to go. Um, I'm, I don't know how this game is going to go, to be fair, because I think, like we touched on there, Portsmouth run a, a decent run under new gaffer that we've got. I just think if we can play our game and dictate it like we did against Derby, I think we could come out of this with three points. Yeah. Portsmouth, I would they look at it. Also, they're going to be wanting to go for a win. Course, you know, yeah. they're going to be on confidence. So I think it's going to be potentially a good game. I think it's going to be a tough game, but a tough game is in a an entertaining way, not a disruptive, nitpicky game. I don't think that, be, like you said, they went down to Fratton Park. Unfortunate decision via like, but I thought it was a decent game that like so and a long journey as well. So I mean, going back to you, Andy, um, score prediction and who do you think would be his most influential player on on night? Um, score wise, I've just got well. I thought this against Derby. I thought it would be a tight game, but look what happened. Um, but I'm going to go for 1-0. I've just got a good feeling that uh, one goal's going to decide it on Tuesday. Uh, so I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Reds. Um, and, well, I- I'm hoping Luca's back. Uh, no disrespect to Russell, but, you know, that's what he's been doing all season is uh, Connell. And, uh, yeah, we-, we-, we definitely missed him at Bristol. Um, but, I do actually think we've got a good replacement there in Russell. I think he just needs to um, get up to match speed a little bit more. Um, key player, I think defence has got to be um, on the game uh, on Tuesday. So that's why I think Anderson uh, is uh, my key player. Um, looking for uh, a performance from him at back. And also Thomas as, as well. Um but yeah, uh, for me, Anderson, and I want to see a, a good captain's performance again from him. Anderson, I'm on one note. Yeah, Luke yeah. Connolly, your opinion is going to be back. I mean, we get yeah. to see Benson as well, um, uh, you know, yeah. getting involved and on Ben. So yeah. we're starting to see, obviously, we've got Luke Thomas, Benson now. So it's nice to see him coming back uh, gradually. And again, Benson, just like what we touched on there with uh, Russell, this game at Matt Sharp and it's that match speed up to thing into flow at game and it's going to be an easy transition so probably uh, Ollie Shaw as well he didn't make it he was training he was already under 21s wasn't he so again Duff's identified players but unless they're up to match speed and sharpness it's not going to be a risk and do it Russell might have been a different kettle of fish but move on from that we didn't lose uh, Ryan yeah, yeah score prediction mate and who do you think will be an influential player for Barnsley on the night well, I, I, I'm going to I'm going to say one nil, same as Andy. So because <laughs> I think it's I think it's going to be tight, but I think um, not to be the same. I probably say there's going to be one. I agree with Andy. I think it's going to be tight. There's going to be one goal in it. I'm going to say two 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 one Barnsley. Mm. Um, most influential player, I think. I'm, I, again, I'm going to agree with Andy about defence. I'm going to say Bobby Thomas, just because I think he put a great performance in against Plymouth uh, against, against Portsmouth away. He got the yeah. uh, you know he got the vital equaliser. Mm. And I thought I thought it was probably our man of a match yesterday uh, for me, Bobby Thomas. So mm. um, you know, and he was getting some right flack from fans and all, wasn't he? So yeah, well, <laughs> he was some right grief on him, bless him. And he, st- he just held his head and just kept going. So um, yeah, I'm going to say two one and Bobby Thomas. Two one, Bobby Thomas. Yeah, I'm going to go two one as well. I think it's going to be a tight game, but I just think that I think there could be a few goals in it. But I think it'd just be a, a tight game, as in. <clears throat> um, an entertaining tight game, though, if you know what I mean. It sounds a bit daft, mm. but 
I, th- I think there's going to be chances for both sides. Uh, I think they're both going to be lucky for, for sure for what uh, players have got, especially Portsmouth as well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go, for me, I'm going to be a bit different. I'm going to go for Norwood as an influential to get in in a monster air defence. Great shout by you uh, you know, for our defence being switched on because, yeah, again, you can go through pitch kind of thing. But I think Norwood yesterday, he won't again, running into it and doing what he's got to do. We, we kind of know what we've got with Norwood and I think if we can get an, up in a month's fair defence and ruffle them up and put their ge- keeper and back under pressure, lead to some mistakes and that can bring other people into it like such as Adam Phillips and stuff. Uh, so I'm going 2-1 in Norwood for uh, my influential player at night. Uh, people what's watching, please leave your comments below. What's your gun score prediction going to be? Uh, what do you think will be Aki performing on the night? That would be interesting as well. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. I know I always say that and that. I'm going to put the links in the uh, description about the season tickets and any questions as well. So I'll link into that. So again, if, you, if you're unsure, click on them links and it'll take you uh, directly to the web page and you can have a read through it and it tells you all about it. So Andy and Ryan, appreciate you taking your time out. Um, you. Getting your thoughts about it. A bit of a a, a freebie this one two, two for one show we've got uh, a review and a preview so not too bad that one so yeah Andy and Ryan appreciate it have a good uh, rest of your week and what's left in it uh, people that's watching enjoy the game on Portsmouth if you go in uh, like I said let us know your score predictions and we want to keep on the three points let's get a win uh, one thing left to say you Reds <laughs>